In this video, I am going to be telling you how much exactly you need to study in Canada in 2022 in Naira and in dollars. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Olua Fisayomi and I am a Nigerian YouTuber based in Canada. On my channel, I create lifestyle and beauty content, but recently I came to Canada and I'm currently dishing out some migration content. Like I said earlier on, in today's video, I am going to be telling you how much you need to study in Canada in 2022. This question is like my most frequently asked question. Everybody asks me all the time, Fisayo, how much do I need? How much do I need in total? How much do you think I need to study in Canada? How how can I migrate to Canada? How much do I, I am answering your questions in this video? Anyway, if this is your first time of stopping by my video, first time of seeing my face, make sure to be a part of the family, subscribe, like this video, leave me a comment, and make sure to turn on your post notification bell so that when I post a new video, you are going to get notified. If this is not your first time, that means I'm an OJ Glam family. Yeah, welcome to today's video. I'm very sure it's going to be an exciting one. Without much talking, let's get into the video. Sure. There's always an increase, a decrease, and a fluctuation with the exchange rate. I'm going to be putting the most recent exchange rate. Like, I'm going to be putting the cost of these things in the most recent exchange rate on the screen. And just because, honestly, right now, I'm not even sure if the black market rate is the same as the official rate. It can never be the same. So I'm going to be putting the, the most recent ones, basically. On the screen so that can be your guide so get your calculators out we are gonna be calculating this together are you ready because me eh? I forever am. first things first before you decide to come and study in Canada it is a long process you need food inside of you I would advise that you eat first and I'm not even trying to be funny you need to be you need the strength inside you to help you carry the strength outside of you because you will get very very tired as time progresses so you need a lot of energy inside you anything in this life eh? first of all eat then next thing make sure you have your passport if you don't have your passport i am watching this video i think you should just stop watching here go and get your passport and come and watch it because that's like the foundation of this whole thing so i feel like if you don't have a passport and you're just asking me questions on how to migrate to canada like you're not really serious like what are you doing are you playing with me is this a play is this playing is this playing are you playing with me Anyway, so for passports, yeah, let's say 50,000 Naira if you are in Nigeria. If you are not in Nigeria, I don't know how much it is to do passports in your country. But then in my country, it's always like 50K to 60K. So let's put 50K to 60K up there. Then you are going to proceed to find a school. Now, you need to find a school to study in Canada. Generally, the application fee is mostly between $75 to $100. There might be more and there might be less, but mostly $75 to hundred dollars and hundred dollars in nigeria right now is forty seven thousand naira. so we are going to put it here with the most recent exchange rate because i don't know when you guys are going to be seeing this video so majority of the public schools here charge like 75 dollars to 100 dollars for application fees if it's a private school i don't know because i didn't make findings for that you can always check online you will find the application fees there it's always a flat 75 dollar hundred dollar fee and if you are doing masters or if you are going to a different kind of school or you are not from an english speaking country nigeria is an english speaking country so not all schools require ielts for nigerian students but if you need to write ielts ielts right now is 85,000 naira, which is around a hundred and two hundred dollars right now so ielts is like 85 thousand naira if you are going to be doing training like classes maybe 40k extra or minus because some actually give free classes so if you are put writing IELTS just know that you need 85k for IELTS then if you are going for masters you will need to do West West is like 40k 50k honestly I'm not even sure I'm going to put the correct price yeah some schools are actually very flexible they don't necessarily need you to submit your IELTS results they can say okay we just need proof of English language you can submit Duolingo test which is between 28k to 35k that's if you need to submit proof, um, proof of English proficiency. So one thing I know you are going to need is your O level scratch card, which is like one thousand five hundred naira currently, or two thousand naira at most. I'm going to put that up here. So if you get lucky and you get offered admission, lucky you, you are going to move on to pay your tuition, which is the biggest investment in this case. Now for tuition, most public school charge fourteen k at the lowest in Toronto. There are schools that charge lower. 
but they are not necessarily in Ontario right now. I'm working on a video that is going to show you guys and tell you guys about the most affordable schools in Canada right now. If you want to see that video, let me know in the comment section. So for majority of the schools in Ontario right now, the least tuition they can accept is $14,000 dollars and it can go as high as forty thousand dollars it depends on what you are going for when i'm studying a post-secondary diploma like i am i think the highest is going to be seventeen dollars and the least is going to be fourteen dollars you cannot say seventeen if you don't use it up the money you can always use it for something else now when you pay your tuition which sometimes is always the first half or first quarter it depends on the school once you get your tuition receipt you proceed to apply for your visa now as i when i applied for my visa it was a hundred and fifty dollar i saw it on the ircc website like it was 150 dollar and a number of my friends that also applied at that point used paid a hundred and fifty dollar but right now it has increased and i'm very sure it has increased i'm going to put the new price on the screen so after you apply for your visa you go for your biometrics now for biometrics i'm not going to say this is the amount you are going to spend because sometimes you might not spend as much or you might not even need to spend any amount but in nigeria you want to include your logistics let's just say ten thousand euro for biometrics because you will need to print out some things you will need to transport yourself to the biometric center sometimes you are traveling from another state that you are going to include the charge of that too in my case i spent about just like eight thousand era because my dad was with me and i remember we printed some stuff out for one thousand era each it's not supposed to be that amount it's not supposed to be that expensive but because we were at the center it was expensive we spent about say seven thousand era to and fro for my biometrics in some cases you, re you are required to submit your police certificate i feel like that's like between ten thousand era to twenty thousand era to get your police certificate if you need to now you're going to get your proof of funds so for proof of funds can be very very tricky this is where most people have a lot of issues and a lot of problems because you need that money to be in your account for the duration while your visa is under processing right so proof of funds is basically the money that the iricc wants to know that you have so that when you come to their country you are not a liability it's basically your living expenses for the amount of time you are going to be studying so in case you don't get a job you will get a job but then in case you don't get a job you are not going to be a liability to the government you'll be able to take care of yourself with that money they want to know that you have that money as back um, what's it called as backup yeah so if you are studying a one-year course your living expense might just be around six thousand three thousand dollars if you are studying a two-year course it might just be around um ten thousand dollars to twenty thousand dollars in some cases you need to get gic some schools require you to get gic which is like ten thousand dollars that you pay into a canadian bank and they give you every month basically they don't trust that proof of funds that are even tendering they want you to have that, mo that money so they pay you in bits it's just like giving you allowance so they give you allowance in bits that's like gic if you need to pay gic that means you're adding extra ten thousand dollars to your total cost of studying in canada but if you do not you just need your proof of funds and for proof of funds it could go as high as 10 million to 20 million basically your living expense for the amount of years you are going to be studying that's what you need as your proof of funds so if your visa gets approved or it's on its way to approval you are going to have to do your medicals and for medicals it's forty thousand euro. i did mine at q life in lagos nigeria i do not know how much is going to be in your province or your state or your country but it was forty thousand euro, which is around 80 dollars right now so after you submit your medicals and your visa is approved you are going to need to send your passport for them to stamp it and i think that's just going to be around six thousand euro if you're using dhl say three thousand go three thousand come just like six thousand euro to stamp your passport once your visa is approved what are you still doing in your own country it's time to go it's time to jack back now flight ticket in my own case say i booked my flight like say four days to where i was traveling or was it five days so it was a little bit on the eyes that if you're lucky enough you have a lot of time the further the cheaper the further the better for me i paid around four seventy eight thousand naira which is more than one thousand dollars right now it would have been expensive but i removed all the old insurance all the extra pegs which was very risky because i removed travel insurance i removed everything i just wanted everything to be cheap i removed booking clinic i removed everything my insurance was my mother's prayers you guys if you have watched that video you saw my mother pray that was the insurance i brought into this country luggage insurance i removed the 
fee that you can use to change your flight date in June. I removed everything. I removed everything. So the next thing is to start packing. For me, I came with Ghana Must Go bags. I bought two. I think my mom bought it for two two thousand era in a co market. Ghana Must Go helped me to save space, and it was very cost effective. Now, if you want to buy Thai work kind of either pink, 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 you want to do aesthetics, you're going to be spending about thirty k to forty k to fifty k. That's I, I really don't know how much that is. So if you want to go with luggages, you are going to have to add that to your total cost. Now for pre-departure expenses, you want to buy some clothes, you want to buy food, you want to buy gadget you want to buy some things for me i think my mom gave me about 200k at first i think in total i ended up spending about 450 dollars i ended up spending about 450,000 naira for my pre-departure expenses inclusive of food my mom bought the food but then inclusive of food the stuffs that i bought so everything was like 450,000 naira you do not need to spend too much you do not even need to buy any food you, you can just come with some things if, you, if it's going to be too much for your pocket when you get there you're, when you get there you're going to like keep buying stuff there's no need to pressurize yourself into bringing all the old african food you can always take cargo later so please that pressure of oh you have to buy so much stuff just get that pressure so for medical insurance i wouldn't know but there's some people pay for medical insurance i did not pay for any medical insurance like i said earlier on my medical insurance was my mother's prayer and the blood of jesus that was all the insurance i came into this country with and that's all the insurance i am still using because i have not even started using my health insurance in fact so for medical insurance i'm going to put the the cost here but i didn't pay for any medical insurance if you are one of those people that do not have anyone in canada and then you need to rent a place before coming rent is mostly between 700 dollars to five thousand dollars you can even find a place as low as six hundred dollars and if you do not find a place you are going to have to rent an airbnb or get an hotel which the cost can vary from a hundred dollar per night to as high as possible so living expenses vary from provinces and cities in toronto i feel like you can survive in a month on say four hundred dollars for groceries and transportation but i do not know how much you can survive on in vancouver so you can bring like living expenses for two months say two hundred dollars just until you find a sustainable job i hope this video has been very very valuable to you this is a very frequently asked question i hope it has answered some of your questions and this total seems realistic for you please note that i am not a migration expert everything i have said in this video is recycled information because i did research on all of these things before i came here to say so it's not like i sat down with iicc and i said oh this is the amount you're going to pay or not if you are going to quote me please do your own research too i always encourage this please do your own research so i don't want to see all those messages of how much i need in total sit down and do the calculation like i have done it with you guys today if you have found value for this video please let me know in the comment section and if you are one of those people that you are watching and you are going to get this money and it is your like your desire for you to come into this country and you're like oh this is so much money i pray from the bottom of my heart that god comes true for you and provide for you in a way that is beyond human comprehension just start please just start you do not need to have twenty thousand dollars to start you just need to start from applying when you apply eh, your total cost is going to be minus the application fee when you pay for this it is going to be minus that so it's going to keep reducing so don't fret i know that this big figure might be so big and so bogus but i trust god to come true for everyone whose desire is to migrate and yeah i feel like that's basically everything before i turn this place into a deliverance session i'll see you guys in my next video stay blessed bye